I love a good cake. I love a good cake for breakfast. Um, but I shouldn't eat while I'm recording, right? <clears throat> so last night I had uh, my, I don't know, fifth and fifth yearly. No, let's try that again. Last night I had another one of my all-you-can-eat fajita Mondays, which is sort of a little social party that I have in restaurants um, for maybe five years now. And it's kind of cool. It's, uh, it's just me and I invite a bunch of friends from Facebook um, that don't know each other and that do know each other from old times and from new times and and uh, from my days in high school and from my days in retail sales and from my days in fan conventions and and uh, I invite a lot of people and a few show up each month and excuse me and cake <laughs> cake burps and we uh, eat lots too much usually because it it used to be all you can eat fajita Mondays, um, which is a rare thing, and it was so rare that they canceled it, which is kind of sad because it was great. Oh, amazing steak! And so then we had another all you can eat restaurant, and it was okay, but it wasn't as good as fajitas. So last week or last last month, whatever, in the past, <laughs> I found a new place um, in the area that served. Uh, all you can eat food, and it's a big Mongolian style. Now, you know there's Korean grills, Mongolian grills. Um, they're they're all different kinds. Brazilian grills, different kinds of restaurants. But the Mongolian grill, if you have one in your neighborhood, it's worth checking out. Um, it's a huge round grill that guys stand at, and they cook food on the grill, and then they give you bowls or plates. And you go off into an area that has all your raw food, your meats, your vegetables, your sauces, your spices. Um, and you fill the bowl with as much as you can. You can make your bowl this thick. And then you hand it to the guy and he cooks it up on the grill and hands it back to you cooked. Um, and I'm a finicky eater, but I like it because I get to pick what I want and avoid the onions. And it makes a good meal. So... We found this, and we had it uh, last night, and uh, eight people showed up um, from all different walks of my life, and we socialized. And now, it's a, it's actually a, kind of a pretty big deal for me, um, because in my brain, I have to get over the fact that I'm responsible for everyone's happiness. And I've been talking to my counselor about this, and in my head, I'm looking around, and I'm sensing the micro expressions of people and the way they're talking and in my head I'm thinking they're not having a good time because previous to this year and my personal growth I wasn't having a good time at parties like that I couldn't really comprehend why people did why would you go to a party where you don't know people and eat a meal and and call that fun but now, as my personality is changing and my confidence is growing, I'm looking around the table and people are having fun. They're enjoying it. And obviously they come back month after month. So it's a good thing. And although I'm not responsible for each individual person's happiness, I'm responsible for the party that's making people happy. And now I'm seeing that in a different light. And it's kind of kind of cool. So I keep doing it. And plus, because I work at home and I don't have that social atmosphere of an office, it's kind of important for me to speak to real people. You know, Facebook status messages are one thing, but actually having a gathering of people that call me a friend, that's pretty cool for me. And I enjoy it. So last night was the all-you-can-eat fajita Monday at Mongo's Grill in Brampton, and I enjoy it. And if you're anywhere within driving distance of Brampton, Ontario, um, you should probably check it out. But if you're not, check it in your area for anything that has Mongolian Grill in the title. Um, they're not famous, they're not everywhere, but they're worth checking out if you, if you can find one. So, that's my report for this Tuesday. My name's Jeff Goble. Thanks for watching me on Frogstar TV.